Alright everybody and welcome back to Biomutants for the Dark Side playthrough. So, last time we let off, left off we got done doing the backlog for our mercenary and now we are getting ready to get into the rest of the game. Let's go ahead and get forward in the storyline as we come to a cutscene already. Better watch out, it's no pet. Well, thank god for us, mercenary time. They couldn't keep it down. Fluff hulks on the loose. Oops. Oh no, come on. The minute I want to start playing a game, my mouse wants to act up. Come on, there we go. Oh, almost forgot how to play the game. If my mouse does act up, guys, I apologize. But, you know, as per normal, I kind of like, you know, wait to the last minute and uh, I'm completely not prepared to actually record these videos. But, I mean, you know, just kind of me, man. If I was completely prepared every time I made a video, I think um, it would kind of be completely un me. But, at the same time, I feel like I need to uh, pause this and fix my mouse. So, one sec. Alright, so. After hitting the continue button quite a few times, you're not dead yet. Which now, unfortunately, accidentally happens. I say fuck you. That bullshit. I say, let me get some like real heals going on. Apparently, I don't have any real heals going on right now. But, um. And what I was gonna say, guys, as far as the beginning of this series, I'm probably gonna keep it to the point where I'm gonna be playing the uh, dark side kind of when I come home a drunk, or B in the afternoon after I've been playing or after I've been working all day and I'm just already grumpy just kind of to get more into the theme of the game and then obviously the uh, light side I'll probably end up playing more so in the morning and just kind of whenever I get a chance to actually play the game I'm not sure if we killed it or not just then, but hey, whatever. They've received news a Ronin joined the tribe's ranks and Absolutely. That's it right here. A group of Jagni warriors are already waiting for you at Myriad's Vespidot outpost. Well, you should hurry there and help them storm the outpost. Bam. Mercy is for the weak. Absolutely it is. Tribes Let's go get them all. So come on. Look, an emergency box from the... Wow, bet that nut makes a tight fist. It does indeed. Um, we're going to take all... Oh, we found a clonk fist. This powerful tool can be used to punch through walls. It even can be used as a weapon. It can be equipped from the gear menu. You found a new weapon. You can now unlock special attacks from for this weapon. To go to Wong Fu menu, press tab, obviously. Alright, so we're going to take him, obviously, since we need him, it's part of the quest line anyway, you have to have this weapon, so. To use Clonk Fist to smack through walls, you need to have it equipped, then hold and release right mouse button. The dark's good for sneaking up on things. level up real quick before I forget to do it. To switch weapons, either use quick select menus or go to gear menu and select the hand slot 3. Haven't figured out what the quick select menu is, so in that regard, that is not going to be what we're doing. But what I will do is another You've agility. Moves. Get it to 46. Then we're going to get melee to 52. So two more levels into melee. And then we'll do Vitality to 50, 
and then get agility to 60. And then we'll go from there. It'll be enough that I don't have to worry about it. Tunnels like this still carry echoes from the past. Yeah, Can and uh, some baddies that give me some bio ball things. Although, it's not like my uh, beautiful little... little uh... Oh my. Hitting an enemy with a special attack fills one of the Super Wong Fu icons to the left of your character. When all icons are filled, you can activate Super Wong Fu state. I feel like I've talked about this in previous in a previous episode. This is kind of where you chain together certain special attacks and you get Super Wong Fu state, which is where you pretty much just beat the shit out of anything and you don't really take any damage. But what you have to do is you have to chain together special attacks from different weapons or different special attacks themselves. You can't chain together the same attack, but you'll see right now how I will chain the Kong Fist to the swords and then keep going. And that's just kind of going to be how we do it. So let's go ahead and continue. You need to use different special attacks to fill up the icon. Ta-da. I'm sorry. Here I go doing exactly what I told you all not to do. Bam. Alright. You are you're ready to activate Super Wong Fu. To activate, press V. Bam. With Super Wong Fu activated, you'll perform different, more powerful attacks. Super Wong Fu is powerful, but it will only activate for a limited amount of time. So for those of you who actually have like fast trigger fingers with your uh, middle finger. This would be kind of like your bread and butter right now. That's going to be the mark. But again, I mean, it's, it's up to each person how they actually play. So it will pretty much be based upon that. But now we have more Super Wong Fu moves. New weapon skills. When you find new weapon types, you'll be able to spend upgrade points to unlock special weapon or special attacks for that weapon type. And as you can see, clonk fist, and then we have all these. And at some point, I'm sure we'll be able to actually get more. But for right now, that's what you have if you decide to use them. However, we will not be using them as a weapon. They will be more so as a tool for us. So, let's continue. Hmm. Oh, this is the, uh... Is that a blade? That's oh, a handle. I'm about to say, my finger can't click that that fast. I have to switch. Alright. And then just spin out here. Up we go. And oops. Cutscene. That notice board filled with the leftovers of used to be once. You're getting close to one of those old Toxanol brick towns. Pay attention. The Toxanol Corporation made this place and then just threw it away when they were, well, small ones. Places <laughs> like this were cheap back in those days, and there was plenty of space. Get done with one place, you just build another. That's true. There must be a track somewhere in this brick town. That's kind of how today's just society is going. not buried. Although once we're done with certain things, we don't actually give it back. We just kind of let everything go vacant and fall apart slowly very slowly instead of just bulldozing it down which I don't understand but you know I'm not a business owner so at least anymore open up the map to see the area objectives again we don't need to do that so I'm just gonna go ahead and pee on this flag 
And Let's boom. See. There. So now we have the Jagni War Party, which is where we are headed to right now. Let's go ahead and just jump down this way. Whoops. I had to get stuck on something. No fall damage. Park. Young ones love this sort of place. Uh oh. What's this? Hmm. Well, since you decided to attack me. Super effective. Well, for right now, we're just going to keep swinging. And uh, it's Q. They get past one of them. Oh! My goodness. It is Q unless you mess up like I just did and start hitting a whole bunch of other random buttons that get you to whole kind of different ball games. I mean, we're level 4 taking on level 7, so I'm not too upset with the outcome of that situation. So, strength. What doesn't kill you? Absolutely. And then we want to go to here. We want to go to Wong Fu. Close combat. And dual wield. And. Right? Absolutely. And we got bio points, so biogenics, we got rad wasp, storm hop, well I want to save for the storm hop, so um, perks in general, mercenary, alright, that's more for level ups once we get to that point, what's up kid? Lemma. This one seems to be in good spirits despite being left here for dead. Well, yeah, we just kind of saved him on accident. Follow your own personal code and is worried you've lost your respect for life. <laughs> What's that doing? It's really none of your Asks business, you but... to do the right thing for the sake of your conscience. It's only through your inner cuff. It's sad to see you're staying on this road to ruin and that you're so determined to help no one other than yourself. Well, I mean, hey, sometimes you only can help yourself. Yes, that's the way. No arguing with that. Sometimes your gut is flat out wrong. <laughs> Don't ever doubt yourself. You are number one. Even the dark knows you're better than this. Stick with me. We'll rule the world. Oh, he didn't hit her with a shovel. That's okay. Module. Oh yeah, let me go here real quick. Yes, 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 more about outfits in case you all didn't know. You can come here and sort through them, find out which is better, and then wear whichever you like. Which currently, right now, nothing is better than what I already have. So, back to running around. That's a myriad tribe outpost. Oh. Your power now. Oh. Time. 
indeed. Ooh. Oh, shit. We just died from fire that fast. Wow. Okay. Um, so I think this is actually like the first death of the entire game that we've had so far, both light and death or and dark series. Again, we're also playing on hard, so it, that doesn't really surprise me since I kind of got up close and personal on somebody that's a little bit out of our level range. We probably shouldn't be picking fights with level sixes and being right in their face, but at the same time, it's just kind of my style. I can't really help it. It just kind of forced a habit. So. Whenever this decides to uh, pick back up. There we go. That's a myriad tribe outpost. We'll go ahead and just go on. Oh no. Oh yeah. No, no, buddy. Well, yeah, you're level seven, so I'd say you're you're a decent ways above me, and you're a brute, so absolutely not. I will keep my distance and keep shooting the shit out of you, you and your fire breathing self. And when I get you to a point where I feel like we can go ahead and take you on, I will definitely run in there. Like the goofy bastard I am trying to be. Alright, I feel like we can do that. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Why are you running away from him? I'm definitely pointing towards him and telling him to go fight him. But it's okay. And there it is. Beautiful. On to the next. Now you are a level, level five. That's what's up. Slash him. You're on the ropes. Ooh. Oh, it's definitely C. I'm trying to press V. probably like not even registering right now yeah it's not all right real quick guys let's just go ahead and is that enemy no it's us all right one sec all right let's go great shot please tell me am I by myself that's kind of fucked up Not really quite sure why in the hell um, nobody is coming to help us, but you're bruised. Chop, chop. Your reserves are tapped. Oops. 
Oh yeah. Playing this game on hard is definitely going to be more of a challenge for sure. But fuck it, I'm kind of enjoying it. And the fact it's actually a challenge and I have to evade to uh, gain life or survive, period. Beautiful. Now, if only I could be, like, the actual level that they all are, that right there would be fantastic. Boom. I don't know, would you light some fire? That's not fair. Where's the explosion? I want explosion. Feel All right. the night wrap around you. I don't know about feeling no light wrap around me, but I definitely felt the bullshit. Bio tanks. Give me them bio bulbs. So if you are watching only the dark series these tanks right here are bio bulbs or bio tanks excuse me and you get bio points for finding them so and bio bulbs or bio points if this is your first episode is how you use or how you um, gain certain abilities by collecting so many bio points and you spend them to gain certain attributes to your character whether it's sliding through and leaving a, like a miasma of poison, a big ass like uh, jump up area effect slam, doing a little bit of damage and poisoning people, just stuff like that. But kind of like not time to attend, something to do with like radioactive crap. Um, you look that. ready. Alright. I wonder if we're actually going to get people to help raid this base. Time home of the Myriad tribe. Not sure. We got some big ass tank guy, so. One. Oh, okay. Cutscene. Oh, no cutscene. Thought it was, but it was not. Just kind of like a quick little hey, you're at the fort little dish let's see and go ahead pee real quick on this bad boy and what is that oh that's just a scrap tower let's go ahead and do this come on buddy says you need to hit them where it hurts inflict as much suffering as possible and make it clear your tribe is a terror to their existence let's go and bam. Come on. Oh. Here's the first oh, I say one more. defense. What are they? Level wise. Level fives and level seven. So we have two level fives and a level seven. Of course the level seven is gonna come directly for us. Kind of just gonna keep the level seven at bay for a second. Try to get his health down a little bit because fuck his stupid ass. Now we can run in there. Is that all? Turn to sender. That's what the fuck we call that. Alright. And puzzle time. Bam. Give those twirly wheels a turn. Alright. And Oh. 
That works. Um, Just a few moves left. All right. Them count. Bam. Beautiful. It is now open, and we are good to go. Yes, the river tub's going down the oh. drain. I was about to say what the hell's going on. But I was premature in that. So, let's jump off here. Grab whatever this stuff is. From somebody dead, I'm sure. Keep going. Alright. We're going. Don't get your knickers in a bun. is holding a helper so instead of doing the cutscene before they start fighting you do it while they start fighting you just getting fuzzled I thought there was were things like cheering us on in the background. No, they're just plants. Dumbass. Yeah, one level seven ain't that bad. It's just when you have multiple of them together in a group, it becomes kind of annoying. Is that it? Cool. Get rowdy with the loud ass crowd. All right, and we're just gonna go in here real quick. What's up, buddy? Let's go ahead and release you. We already know how to do this because of Says the they've light been treated walkthrough. Fair, but he's glad to see you. Hopes you'll treat the rivals with the same wishes. There was another way, but they'll do their best. Come on, then. I'm not worried about what you think about these people. Whether they treated you well or not is not of their concern. It's of my concern. And I say, fuck them. Um, fire rate, accuracy, reload speed, armor penetration. But the damage is up a lot. So I feel like equip... Although, I feel like I did that for a the light shooter. on top the of it. scaffolding looks unstable. Okay. So yeah, some of this is kind of a repeat. Maybe a little bit more than I'm thinking. Here's the second line of defense. Alright, well, I don't. I'm not worried about you guys. I'll just shoot you all with this fucking gun. Hey, come on. I use the big gun. Oops. Come on. God damn it. Now I'm hitting buttons too much. means danger. Them and this fucking sniper. Bam. Alright, Mr. Big Ass Gorilla. Come uh, tackle this pole, since we know what you do. Come tackle. Timber. Bet a big bump will bring it down. Bam. Switched off the light. I love how he gets beaten a barrel by smacking that to get a barrel out of it, falling on top of him toward the gate and blast. Whereas it. it would take me probably upwards of like 
three minutes to actually beat him. Maybe a little bit shorter. Maybe a little bit longer. That looks loady. Shoot it and what up, boom. You're in. Almost Especially down. with the little cheap weapons I got right now. Shit. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. Damn. There it is. One outpost secured. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. I'm sure you won't, your but I'll still win. Thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. And you're one ugly bastard. But it's okay. You're allowed to be ugly as long as you support me. If not, we'll have to kill you too. Or beat you up. I haven't quite figured out which one it is in this game. <sighs> Excuse me. Each tribe has its own tribal weapon. If you defeat a, tr a rival tribe, you acquire its weapon. By helping your own tribe, you've acquired this weapon. You're now allied with this tribe. You can decide to switch your allegiance with an ally with a different tribe. Go to the tribe fort and talk to their Shifu to change your allegiance. Says you did a great job capturing the outpost. You've earned the privilege of carrying the tribe's weapon. Believes you'll be even more dangerous with it. Fair enough. Out of date says he's doing his best to keep up, but from what he can tell, it seems you're making progress with the tribe conflict. <sighs> he had a feeling you'd get along with the Jagni tribe, but it remains to be seen what the future holds for your alliance. You well, are you seem to get along with the Jagni tribe, which doesn't come as a surprise as you share an ominous outlook on life. I do our But out of date emphasizes that solving the tribe conflict won't matter unless you help make a stand against the world eaters. So pretty much That's what you're saying is that I have to help you otherwise out of date premonitions of imminent shit. disaster huh? are true. The porky puff needs to be handled. Of course it does. Papa Morpho Bug. He says the time has come to confront the Porky Puff at the end of the East Route. Come, Reaper. Goop is working on making his Goo Glide strong enough to break the waves out to the World Eater. Yeah, you know. You should get over there and see what you can do to help. Alright. Well, we will do that after after we finish the part of the quest I'm on currently with his character. Then we will do that for Goop. Your bodies will mount have energy. And what is mercenary? Alright. That one first. So now we just have to figure out how to get out of here. If I can remember how. Which at the same time. There are tough times ahead, no matter what. It's where not you go. like it's oh well that also works too. Um but I still want to see the front to get my point, please. Just didn't want to spend two hours running around trying to find it. There's news of a roan into a Luga Says goodbye. Goodbye. Alright. Give my points. And then we on the road. Jack. Come on. And if we go to map, that's goop. That's the next outpost. So we are going to go. I guess Goop is closer. Let's go to Goop, I guess. Since he's that close. It's not going to hurt us to go there. Uh. 
and I guess at the same time, the game did kind of say, hey, can you go to Goop versus anything else? What do you want? Says, sure, the world is nearly over, but do you want to go out stinking like a squatty? Hmm. There's stinking a like a squatty. rusting out there, but it's still working. Just think about having clean clothes instantly. Says they do sometimes, but it's not so easy to get to. Seems amazed no one's stolen the clothes soaker yet. Oof. It's such a useful device for saving time, which you're running out of. Thank you. Imagine they made machines to do chores for people. Figures you'd get a great price for it. Absolutely. Alright, so another side quest. As we venture on up to the scout tower. And see what they have for us. I feel like we've already raided this. Yes, we have. So... It's not really going to help us at all. But, running this way, however, at least uh, that way, will. And. You can see the horizon now. Alright. I feel like I'm missing something, though. Because I went this way. So we're just going to double back. Big ass guy. Ooh, there's a horsey. Cutscene. That's a gnome. There it is. Easy prey for Loopa Lupin. For everyone else, they're a perfect mount and easily tamed if they are kept fed. All right, so a there. A bush that's nom nom for the gnomes. Okay, so there is the actual tutorial for this, and you can find or you found a pip plant. Glide under it to gather the pip seed. You can use pip seeds to tame free roaming mounts. And you back up. Run towards it, hit alt, slide underneath it, grab a plant, the seed at least, and run over to him and grab. Him. Now we can ride a gnote. You can move and shoot while mounted. This mount will stay where you left it if you dismount. Acquiring mounts appear in each slot of your transport menu apart from the top slot, which holds the mount selected in your transport menu. If you want to call your yat your last used mount to your current position, press four. And that's fine. So yeah. Just kind of like partially still awake. Not entirely. Gotta do one more feeding for these little babies before I uh, get ready for work tomorrow morning. Which I'll probably just end up back on here. Let's be honest here. But, but, I'm not sure. And get back on the Ganot, or Ganot, whatever the hell it's called. Back going down. And boop. Back there's Subnautica Station. Goop flounders are oh. in there. Okay, well, there it is. So let's leave the Ganot here. Alright guys, well I will wrap this episode up here, just wanted to get on here quick and make an episode for the day. I will go ahead and record a little bit more at a later point in time, where we will go in here and talk to Goop for the first time since the flashback, see what he wants to fix up the Google Eye and what we have to do, and then go from there. So, hope to catch you guys in the next one, hope you all liked and enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all then. Thanks for watching guys, bye for now.